Onward with our exploration of sheared flat land. Today we will be looking at this area in California, a couple places along the California coast. We will go over to Spain, also maybe look at France a little bit, and this spot in Spain, Scotland, take a look at this raised beach here, see if it's natural or man-made or weird. Uh, San Simeon, California, we will check this out, some possible something uh, zoom, zooming across the landscape here, um, altering the landscape, and then Chile, possible similar stuff here, something zipping along, uh, and we'll try and figure out if these are natural patterns or something else, and... Yeah, we will end things here in Chile for this video, um, and that will be it for this video. Okay, so first up we have this spot in California. This is near Half Moon Bay, so Google Earth, and right here, Half Moon Bay, and place marks. So, uh, it's this area right here. And obviously, one more time, I should just briefly mention that uh, any kind of coastal real estate is, uh, you know, prime um, real estate. So it makes sense that it's going to be prepped and developed for development. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, there, there's almost... Or, there's certainly some modern work going on around here. Um, it's just I'm suspecting that the land is worked over before that, especially since we have like lines like this going and uh, maybe like this here. Um, just like underlying stuff that looks like it may have been. I saw something a moment ago, but. Okay, um, looking at these guys, oddly regular, but maybe nothing, maybe something. Okay, so, and if you remember the, uh, this is where I showed that, um, uh, where's the 360 photos, well, whatever, but. Uh, this, like the pylons poking out of this cliffside here and uh, zooming around here getting a feel for the area and it's these kind of large-scale streakies that make me uh, suspicious So like this kind of thing going across the plots, like I don't know how much is attributable to just modern um, tractors and stuff. So let's look at some of this over here. And not just the coast, it's just for some reason I, my attention gravitates to the coast, but uh, it's just a kind of a stark example and it's, I don't know, for some reason I like to look at the coast, but I'm suspecting like the general landscape may be subject to the same type of working over, um, like, uh, maybe even like something like this, like see this long linear, uh, Hard to say. And maybe this. Some of these maybe trails and stuff, so I don't want to jump to conclusions too quickly. But uh, yeah, I think the area has been worked over. And let's go down to. Uh, Santa Cruz in California, 
where we will see something similar. And I'm looking for like some good lines here, like uh, some decent possible stuff here, like lines like uh, this one might be something worth considering. Okay, so let's go down to Santa Cruz, California. So that's uh, it's a ways down south. And uh, so this general area here is the same idea, this kind of potentially flattened out uh, land. Ah. I, I don't even like hearing myself say it just because I know for a fact that like modern development takes place in these areas. Um, so, I mean, maybe it wasn't perfectly flat when the modern development started, but I think there was some working over that was already present when the modern development started. So that, I guess that's the major point I want to make. And then there's stuff like this. It's like almost like gash marks across like you see this from there to there, this, like just odd little trajectories and potential paths of some kind of weird weirdness. Okay, and the one, one place mark I have in the area is this little finger of land here. See like this right here? Like what is this guy? I think it's about 20 feet across, if I remember correctly, about 30 feet, and I mean, it doesn't look like a pier. Maybe it's erosion management or some type of coastal management, something like that. Uh, it's been here at least since 93. Doesn't tell us a whole lot, but uh, there it is. Here we get a view of the area in 1993. And um, not just the, the coastal areas, but possibly the hillsides as well. And obviously it's not all flat, like flat, flat, but um, raised over, you might say, or altered somehow. And we also have the lumpiness, which is near the San Andreas Fault, and that area was pretty weird, or the bumpiness, whatever. Uh, okay, so let's go back to that finger. Where was it? Uh, right here. Just a weird looking feature to me. And this kind of angle here even potentially. So this could be modern work, but it could also be like Again, uh, weirdness. Let me um, just keep this in, example in mind. This uh, near this coast here, and uh, I'm gonna zip over to um, Spain and France real quick and show you something quasi similar um, here in Spain possible old grid stuff. So like these kind of lumpy mound things are similar in my opinion. So just kind of gibberishy lumpy mounds and these have been there quite a while. Just kind of nonsensy garnish. Yeah. So there's that, and it's not much changed to the area since 2002. And then similar thing up in France I was looking at uh, up here, just this stuff. So I just want you to keep this type of like weird finger of land. Let's measure one of these just for reference. This one's about 50 feet across. And they're not all the same. There's quite a bit of variety of these things. Like this one's a little bit thinner or less wide. 
Um, and then, yeah, this whole area I would suspect of being raised over or worked over somehow as well. Uh, but we ha even on land, we have these like just lumpy mounds or ridges, fingers of land, just kind of messy weirdness. So these little lumpy fingers or odd fingers, let's go back to um, Santa Cruz and we will uh, recall that this one looks kind of similar in my opinion. So I think there may be a s similar uh, method behind it or creation story behind it. All right, so anything else in this area before we move on? Mm, just doing a random zoom or two. Some of these deep linear contours may be noteworthy or maybe not. Tough to say, as always. Some of these uh, near, uh, I don't want to call that linear, that's not particularly linear. Stuff like this could be tractor path or something else, you know, like this. Then um, these flat headlands, obviously modern uh, work on on those, but possibly underlying weird stuff as well. Here we have the mounds or lumpy knobs or uh, dirt piles, whatever. Just the bumps, bumpy bumps. And like I said, there's gonna be quite a bit of overlap in these episodes. The, um, the categories aren't completely distinct from one another, so yeah, we're gonna be, uh, we could even call this like patchy land or anything really, the bumps or just strange patterns, straight lines, we're seeing some straight lines and yeah. Let's see if we can see any straight lines, eh, maybe. Okay, so let's go down to Camp Pendleton in Southern California and take a look at a place marker too there. And so this stuff, this could be all modern, although I couldn't say for sure. I mean, we certainly have like tire tracks and stuff. Uh, it's just that these streaks are um, not it's not entirely clear that this is modern work. These miscellaneous uh, crisscrossing lines here, not perfectly straight, but nor do they have to be to be weirdness, weirdnessy. There's kind of like a nice little oval lake here, awkwardly shaped, in my opinion. Parallel lines potentially could be multiple passes with some kind of modern vehicle. You just kind of see these grooves here, kind of going over the uh, inlet here, riverway or whatever. More, mm, more grooves. Tough call. Tire tracks certainly. Uh, okay, this isn't the main area I wanted to show though. I wanted to show over here this business. So we have uh, these linear rav ravines or uh, cliffs, again, uh, pretty common motif in this uh, study we're doing on this channel, just the, uh, the linear gash or groove and one across here as well, looks like this one across here, this one across here, so these are not entirely natural. Uh, it's just the question is, is it modern work? 
And here's another one. See what looks like tire tracks, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's not tire tracks. And like, see here, it's wider. Let's measure that. Could be tank tracks, 22 feet. I don't know if a tank is 22 feet wide, but because this is a military base, they do exercises and all kinds of stuff. Um, even this like ditch right here, potentially, uh, like just like a lot of little tick marks in the area uh, if you want to call it that and then these mines like this this could be anything this big long one uh, this right here uh, another linear mound right here or ravine here like this one and maybe the one next to it and some of these gashes across like there and uh, let's see sorry my computer is a little glitchy right now okay so this guy right here it's like a linear um, ravine okay maybe this belongs in the artificially machined coastlines um, category but uh, we see that the area is kind of flat-ish and raised over again more potential linear ravines here not clear if it's you know the modern work or what uh, these could be similar or modern stuff not sure and then I, th I think I have a place mark for like bumpy landscape like uh, yeah just lumpy bumpy and I've driven here uh, by here a lot of times and I haven't noticed this like bumpiness so I don't I mean I guess I've only looked across at eye level so I haven't really looked at it from above um, yeah, see more of these little bump things. Uh, linear ravine, possibly having to do with this little airstrip here or whatever, but possibly independent of that. This here as well. And we can find plenty of examples of it. It's just the uh, kind of linear ravines and stuff it's all a very tough call especially since there's so much modern stuff going on you certainly see plenty of like regular tire tracks and stuff um, this thing this mound I could see this being modern just like some type of training drill or something and like see this long linear thing here Ugh. it irks me it irks me see that takes me to irkville and then so i use that as um let's see uh what's it called oh, i forget uh corrobor corroborative or um what's the word collateral i can't think it starts with a c um, conditional evidence um, oh, I can't think of the word it's on the tip of my tongue but you know what I mean possible supporting evidence that suggests some type of large-scale working over of the area circumstantial there we go circumstantial evidence so we've got like these and yeah I'm, right now I'm looking at this long one here Long straight guy. These ravines are just looking like fake to me. Like, see, it's just like fake features. Like, even this maybe. Okay, so something zipping around, altering the landscape is the general gist of it. And, 
I don't know if I got every single place mark here. Like here's one that's like straight for a while, unnaturally so, I would say. And then it kind of changes direction here. It looks like it curves around and goes like this. Straight for a while that way. It could be two different paths intersecting. Like maybe this is like this or, or this. So maybe this just happens to coincide with it and it's not, this is not a continuous path here like this, but there's something weird going on here, I think. And let's measure these just so you get a feel for how big these are. I think they're about 30 feet across. Yeah, 30, roughly 30 feet across. Oops. 25. So, something fishy may be occurring in California and elsewhere. All right, so let us move along. What was our next example? California, Spain. Let's go to Spain and, and check it out. Okay, so Andalucia area is like the southern portion of Spain here, and I actually haven't spent too much time in Spain, but I have a decent amount to show. Um, these, this is where that image is, uh, these flat uh, headlands and stuff. This could be a modern thing, this little starlet, probably. Uh, so this business, so sheared flat, maybe the wrong word again, like these lines are almost certainly modern, uh, vehicular work of some kind. Uh, let's take a quick look back in history. I just wonder if there's like underlying work previous to that modern work. So it's looked roughly the same since 2002. Doesn't tell us much, unfortunately, because that's not very long ago. Um, but yes, yeah, so just giving a general feel for the landscape. Um, looking kind of, kind of raised over, perhaps. And I'm always on the lookout for like lines and stuff but you knew that okay anything else worth pointing out here and the yeah the only real evidence i can present for like the fact that or the possibility that this might be sheared flat is like circumstantial stuff like uh, like oddly straight um, lines and patterns and stuff. May, nah, not really. But like those ravines in Camp Pendleton, California. Possibly suggestive. And then, okay, here we go. This is a little suggestive right here. Um, so across this little land mass, we have a linear something or other. So let's check this out. So we have this, which is looking like some kind of modern fence or something. Um, it's this, this linear feature right here. It goes and then it continues, maybe like modern erosion control or something. It appears to continue like this. And then like this here as well, like here. And then here, so this is certainly artificial. It's just, is it modern stuff or not is the question. And then continuing here, uh, just across the land, not really seeming to serve much of a purpose on this particular part here. So, uh, and similar thing here, like see this, just caught my eye, but uh, actually that looks like a road. 
this, this actually, this is what I'm referring to. This, hmm. So, I mean, is this a car, like a, or some type of a aquatic vehicle doing that? Could be. Um, even like st stuff like this faint thing here, like I'm suspecting is like something zipping around, making, uh, doing rounds or uh, making tracing a path over the landscape and making edits as it goes, edits of some kind, and see like this st straight line thing, uh, that may be a trail or something. Maybe. Hmm. Now I'm on the lookout for those straight line things, but I don't want to waste too much of your time looking for it on the fly. This would be similar, I would say. Uh, crud. See, I could see that being erosion control or any number of things, I guess. This one pretty long. Uh, it's kind of originating at this bush apparently and like extending to the coast like this linear something or other here ridge or it might even be a fence or something and then this guy hmm so it's a tough call it looks the weirdest example I would say is over here just because I don't know, like what is it doing? What purpose is this serving? And why is it, why is it, unless the water level has changed recently, which may be the case, uh, I don't see a reason to have this continuous feature, um, or I guess discontinuously starting and stopping across these land masses. Like you see it here in 2002. It's, it's awkward. 2002. And 2002, it almost looks like the, it was freshly landscaped. See that? So there may be some, like, uh, yeah, we've got this line across here looking a little awkward. Oops. I guess the water level does change a little bit. So this one, yeah, the water level is considerably higher. Okay, so that's, there we go. I think that may answer our question. Okay, so 2010, yeah, it's all underwater, and then 2012. So maybe it was laid down for some type of coastal management. And then now it's reinforced, something like that. I don't know. Uh, should probably move along. Uh, I guess just to summarize, there's a slight chance that this area is worked over. And when I when I say slight, I have no idea what percentage I mean. <laughs> like some days I feel like 70% sure or like 90, 95 even. Some days I'm like, ah, 20%. Um, okay. Uh, so more of it. So just the extent of it, it's a pretty vast undertaking if if it's something weird so just flatness flatness again the idea of potentially pre-parceled or pre-lotted land um, which is set up prior to our current era of human history is possible Okay, and then what else did I want to show? I think I wanted to show those oval lakes in the image. I'll show you in a second. It's interesting looking. All right, whatever. But over here, uh, let's see, go back to the images for a moment. This spot in Spain, Doñana National Park, we've got these oval lake things or 
not even they're not even lakes all of them just um like oval um markings and it's uh over here i will show you um let's see i think over here yeah here we go so this part of spain here Sorry, my mouse is, or I'm having trouble controlling my mouse. Um, so we have these oval lakes looking pretty goofy, in my opinion. And we, it looks like, okay, actually I didn't notice this before, but it's like two square sets of oval lakes. See that? Like one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and then these patterns around um, and are the patterns identical? I don't think so. No, I don't think they're identical. But it uh, looks like similar variations of the same, like four quadrants of uh, goofy ovals. Um, so, certainly artificial. It's just, is it modern stuff? And we do have tire tracks and stuff. It is a tough call. It might be a, a farming practice of some kind. This was in some documentary or something or history channel special, uh, like looking for Atlantis in Spain and just speculating that like these are the former footprint of something Atlantic or civilizational in, in some sense. Like these large scale markings like this as well. Like that's the kind of stuff that uh, gets me gets my engine going. Okay. So I just wanted to show you, it took me forever to find this, but I finally found it, the, the Oval Lakes. Um, and let's see, are they even there in 2002? God damn it, History Channel is making me look like a fool. <laughs> I don't think they're even there. Okay, so that's something new. There you have it, folks. Unless it's been scrubbed out of the image, which I don't necessarily think is likely. Uh, 2004, it's not there. 2010. So 2011 is the earliest we see it. 2004 and 2010 photo are looking, it's loading the same photo, I think. So maybe this, this shows up sometime between 2004 and 2011. These ovals, like let's look at this one. So some kind of farming technique, it's possible. Yeah, it's not there prior to 2011. So, all right, these are new. Interesting nonetheless. Um, what about the lines? Lines looking maybe like they change a bit, maybe. Hard to say. Uh, maybe they don't change the lines themselves. So again, this could be like the ongoing tooling aspect, ongoing weirdness protocol, or, uh, or it's just modern stuff, but it does show up recently. So I apologize for wasting your time if indeed that is just conventional stuff. What else we got? Anything interesting? Um, it's a, it's a, I mean, I don't think this is entirely off topic because it's, the land is pretty flat here. There's a chance that this is just like a sh sheared flat wasteland. Um, and some of these lines potentially, possibly, not necessarily, but maybe. They, 
these even these angle angular lines perhaps may or may not be modern all right let's move on from this area and i wanted to take a quick look at france real quick um yeah just that that old gridness weirdness uh so maybe this whole area was like raised flat or uh just like the wasty uh look to it waiting for this to load trying to see if i see any changes nothing really so it's looked like this since 2006 at least and just like squiggles kind of like we've seen in bolivia and stuff just weird schnizzle lots of weird stuff so like the idea would be these areas were uh raised over or reformatted in some sense in a very strange fashion leaving very strange patterns behind okay and here you're seeing plenty of tire tracks i would say god wouldn't it be interesting if like a certain portion of the the population was like in on it you know like even like the every, everyday average joe or something like that like Again, the idea that, that like there's a, a hive mind or something that has m multiple bodies. <laughs> it's a pretty scary thought, but like, what if it like, what if there's a hive mind that has like a billion bodies at its d disposal and it just uh, takes these uh, uh, general labor jobs and uses them to create these patterns with tractors? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That would kind of surprise me, but um, I don't know how likely, likely that is, but uh, I mean, we're considering some strange stuff, so I, I guess that's something we should consider as well. Um, again, more goobity grids and stuff, so maybe this whole area is more in the domain of the old grid, but um, yeah, it's possible that the area is flattened or uh, made flat somehow and then worked over. Yep, yep. Many lines, non-pragmatic if modern. I'm not seeing any practical use for all these lines. I could be wrong there, but yeah, just lines and lines. Let's look at see if there's any water change in the last couple decades. Change to the coastlines. Not a whole lot. Okay. Whatever's. Okay, what's next? I think Scotland might be next. Yeah, so this area in Scotland. I think this is Kincraig Point in Scotland. So let's hop over there. It's up here, I believe. Okay, and a couple interesting things here. Um, so this would be that area. And just, uh, again, not just the coast, but potentially the whole countryside is sheared flat or made flat somehow prior to modern inhabiting or activity uh, it's possible okay um so there's this raised beach over here it's like this platform or like multi-staggered platforms of uh beach or uh land mass 1945, we get a picture, and it's looking pretty similar in 1945, and we do have these rows of mounds, so this, this may be construction work or whatever, I'm not sure, rows of bumps of some kind, and 
get a good look at the landscape in 1945 and see how um, built out it is or how much of like every every square inch is all parceled out um, and th I mean that may be explainable by just modern populations but it's just a lot of plots of land I don't know these things here something something weird looks a little weird could be like testing weapons or something I don't know uh, but yeah it's had this staggered look since at least 1945 so either there were big earth movers that took to this area to level it out it's possible in 1945 um, I think the, the machinery was certainly available to do that. Uh, so maybe modern development of some kind, or maybe it was flattened before that. Um, okay, and then also in this area we have these pipes. So these need to be considered. These are a little weird, like it's just like a, a long linear thing. And we know it's a pipe, or I don't know that this for sure that this one is a pipe, but uh, there's similar things in uh, just down the coast here. Mine is pipe, so here, and it's interesting because in Laguna Beach in California, which is a much newer area, only been inhabited for I don't know a little over. 100 years, 150 years, at least, uh, this is looking like an awkwardly straight path here. Can we, are you with me on that? Awkwardly straight. I'm going to draw a path there and save it. So this is what I mean by something zipping around and making edits to stuff <clears throat> on a large scale. And looking possibly like that's this part of it as well, this here. Maybe, or this. I mean, it may be natural. There's that chance as well. Just looks a little strange. Let me, um, so I got sidetracked. I was going to finish my thought on Laguna Beach. Let me just look at uh, historical photos on this straight guy here. Uh, okay, so looking. Interesting, interesting. So these these patterns of wavy stuff, this may be like the the previous look of the working over that I'm talking about, the sheared flat working over. It may be. It's possible. It's possible. And see all these uh, tick marks, pock marks. Again, that could be like war or uh, weapons testing or something. Let's see what it looks like now. Uh, now it's like a golf course. But I, don't, I don't think it was a golf course then, was it? No, I don't think so. Just like a bunch of holes, like potholes and stuff. I guess I could look up the history of Earl's Ferry and try and suss it out, but um, like we see these linear ditches and stuff. Not looking good. This like linear mound, looking a little weird. So you may have heard me speculate about like golf courses being um, put there to like cover up these patterns. Well, that may be the case here uh, with these. See now these are like sand pits or something um, and greens and stuff okay give me a sec I, got, I want to figure this out well, we, we do see this like mount this linear mound here it's interesting um, so that remains large scale thing there and kind of this like purposeless ditch there and just this awkward path here. So possible old weirdness. 
1945. Uh, I don't think we see that path in 1945. This path right here. Is there in 2006? What about? Oh, you know, I think it is there. It's just like an image alignment thing. Okay. Yeah, it's just over here, and then the previous image in 1945. It's over here a little bit, and we do see it a little bit. And there's this line present in 1945. Okay, so there's that, and all these holes. Maybe this is when the golf course was under construction or something. Um, but yeah, it's, many of those things are gone, and some of them are looking like they're now sand pits for a golf course. So, yeah, wouldn't that be funny if golf courses were like are like strategically placed? <laughs> to cover up certain uh, particularly strange areas of um, terrain. That would be an interesting development if that's the case. Um, okay, uh, I got sidetracked a bit. Another possible linear thing here could be natural. This kind of curving one, uh, and then drop path. It's it's a maybe, but looks pretty darn linear. Maybe something. All right, and um, let me get back to these pipes. It's a, it's a tangent, but it's. In, in the area, so I just thought I'd touch on it. So these lines, uh, 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 uh. So I'm seeing almost like, uh, maybe a line here or there. All right, stay focused for five seconds, Brian. I can't. Okay. Um, okay, so we were over here uh, looking at this guy. Looking pretty awkward. And this angular change of direction could be natural. Uh, it's interesting to look, to look at, to consider just the, the stone, the, um, or I mean the, the bedrock just happens to fold or um, um, I can't remember the technical term, but uh, converge here or whatever. It's an interesting look. Potential artificiality to it, although I could see it being natural as well, but maybe this belongs in the streaks video uh, episode because it's like kind of strange looking, just almost almost mechanical looking. In some parts, a little, a little weird. Okay. Anyways, yeah, these sharp convergences of the bedrock and tool marks or place marks back on, and there's one more or one or two more pipe examples. So here's another one right here, just a line under the water. So drainage, it's possible. Uh, here we see just kind of a, a rectangle there. It's an interesting thing, just like the straight thing. And then we see rectangle, maybe, eh, maybe not, hard to say. But yeah, this line here, it's like a, a pipe, which is, and here we see it angle can change it goes it extends pretty far out into the ocean come on work with me okay about 650 feet out into the ocean so it's um it's a it's a pipe okay so what and then this one See, 
line seems to cut across Marath modern pipe. It doesn't. Okay, here's another area where the, the rock is looking oddly linear, like something carved up the coast, potentially. Uh, 2006 photo so yeah it's uh like this this trajectory here see looking awkwardly linear there in my opinion kind of abrupt maybe some kind of natural shear or something in the bedrock going on And the coast is actually looking quite a bit different since 1945. Could be that more of it has, uh, the, the water level has re receded, revealing more. I think that's it. A little hard to say. Yeah, I think the, the features I'm talking about, like this line here, I think it's just submerged in 1945. Yeah, so we can't see it. Okay. And there was one 360 photo with the, the pipe. Okay. Here we go, over here. So we're just kind of cruising along the coast in Scotland here, looking at stuff that might be weird. Come on, dude. Oh, it's giving me this big, uh, there we go. Okay. So we have this line here and I wasn't sure what these were for the longest time until I, uh, see it there, looked at this, uh, 360 photo and you can see it here and it's very interesting. It's this pipe, um, that seems to be like embedded in the, uh, um, the architecture here, the, the coastal uh, wall and stuff, buildings, and I just wonder how old it is, and uh, there's basically, in Laguna Beach, California, there's basically an identical looking pipe of uh, some kind, I saw it right up close, and it's just like, it doesn't extend quite as far up the, the bank, it just kind of, it's just like chilling there. It's just like a segment of pipe that's not in use. So there's something weird with these pipes, I think. Um, I, I can't quite put a finger on it, but it's like interwoven in, or like goes under the rock here and up here. And I'm suspecting something weird with the entirety of anything made of stone. <laughs> um, like build, uh, buildings wise and architecture wise. Uh, so there may be some strange aspect with these stone walls, certainly in Ireland and stuff. Um, so there's a bunch of pipes, could just be drainage or something. Uh, just the look of it and uh, let's see, it extends pretty far, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe another, uh, maybe not. So, okay, this is interesting. Just a quick, kind of off topic, off topic, but these little clean little sweeps here, like you see this one, could be natural rock trajectory, but Again, looks like something's carving the area in like sweep or like scoop maneuvers. Like awkwardly, just like this straight edge here and then these clean little things potentially. straight thing there and here we see the natural rock or apparently natural 
All right, so I got a little off topic from the sheared flatness, but uh, I guess to summarize on this area, there's a chance that this whole uh, island of England, Scotland, Ireland is like, has some type of um, flattened or uh, worked over, raised over component to it pre-parceled or um, pre, uh, pre-developed prior to our current era of human activity. Um, there's that chance, I would say. 84. All right, uh, let me see. What else can we see in 1945? So certain areas we can see. Okay. So it's just like, it's just as developed in 1945 as it is now. I mean like just as many plots of land, which Maybe, which may fit conventional theory, I'm not sure. But like not a square inch is untouched in 1945, which seems a little odd to me. <clears throat> Okay, uh, let's move on from Scotland to our next place, which was, I think, I wanted to look at another spot in California. Let me double check. Yeah, so San Simeon, California. I'll try and be brief here, brief as I can. Um, Not just San, San Simeon, but the surrounding area. <sighs> okay, just taking a drink of water. So this is the general idea. This type of linear stripe across the landscape. Not perfectly linear necessarily, but uh, just a deep streaky gouge stripe thing across, especially across coastal areas, but also other places. And then we've got these possible linear something or others. 1994, looking like they're still there, pretty faint, hard to make out, but little parallel gashes I think are still there. 1994, yeah, we see them in 2003, so whatever's whatever's. Um, so I guess that would that might fit into the category of sheared flat, like something just, just raised across here, like a like a hair clipper, like a buzzer, like when you go get a haircut and they use the the buzzer thing on your hair, could be like that. Another similar thing here potentially. Maybe even this. So some of this looks more natural like this. And some of this stuff, possibly natural or artificial. Uh, looking artificial to me actually that. Um, then here's another one uh, just to nice streak across the kind of discontinuous just right across the I mean maybe this is something that naturally occurs in storms and stuff or like an accumulation of storms over the decades and centuries and millennia um, some natural weather patterning I'm not aware of uh, but yeah I'm referring to these horizontal streaks 
sheared across the land. All right, whatever's. Mm -hmm. Some of these place marks I'm ignoring. Um, spotty landscape again, like San Andreas and elsewhere we've seen. Possible path here, if you see that, it's pretty faint, but not to be ignored in my opinion. And so this looks kind of hilly, not like perfectly flat, this area. Doesn't mean it's not worked over. Uh, sheared flat, this would be, this might qualify as sheared flat. Um, linear ravine, okay, so more linear ravines. I think this is a good area for that. Uh, let me just see what I've covered so far. Pockmarked, not sure why. Yeah, kind of a pockmarked landscape. Looks like. And. and these may not be tool marks. These may be like vehicle tracks or something. Uh, see like this long line here could be something if you're following my mouse here and then like this even something doing something It's kind of a weak point. I, I wouldn't, I mean, maybe the coast is gouged at, but that's probably more like a image rendering thing. It just looks a little um, more uh, herky-jerky than it actually is. If, if you're standing here, it probably looks pretty organic. Just saying. Um, okay, I, oddly straight grooves, angled ditch. So angled ditch is something I could have done a whole episode on. It's just a awkward, Thing that's seen all over the world, just an ang angular ditch. Um, could be some type of modern technique. Some of these grooves here are looking a little linear. Not as good of examples as some other spots. Um, okay, let's... Uh, I was just kind of trying to work from one side to the other, so let's go back this way, which would be north, I guess. Um, bear with me for a moment while I get my bearings. Linear grooves, okay, got that. Okay, so linear ravines, let's look, look at these real quick. So this guy especially, so I don't know that you can make the case that this is entirely natural. Uh, the only question is, is it modern? So we've got this fairly natural looking ravine or what have you. Um, this guy here and seeing if there's any linear component that continues all the way up here. Got the bumpiness, potentially, although some of that might just be bushes, some of it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this, yeah, this line here, not looking terribly pragmatic. Maybe it's for drainage purposes or something, but what, you want to drain it right onto the road? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, or maybe, maybe it slopes downward from the road. That, that could be And then see like right here as well, like this, it's subtle, but like this, maybe even continuing like that, like these little uh, faint linear aspects and uh, like this as well, maybe uh, there, there, maybe even here and here. So some, some possible, just artificial lines and stuff. So I would call this circumstantial evidence that 
the whole area is being worked over again. So this is similar to what we saw earlier in the video in Camp Pendleton, California. Just these linear ravines. And I think we'll see a few more a bit up the way. So let me turn my place marks back on. And so this is another thing that might be like the sheared flat aspect, just like So these streaks could be run over or like some type of back and forth action with the wind and the water or something like that. Do have this uh, awkwardly angular thing there, potentially. So looking, it's stark, but could, I could see this being natural. I'll just say that I could definitely see it being natural. Um, Okay, let's uh, continue up the coast here. I'm just keeping an eye out for any linear features. Maybe that. Yeah, okay. And what else? Fairly linear, like these guys right here. Pretty linear. This, this one kind of, it's kind of too short to draw any conclusions. This one looking a little, a little too perfect. Um, and then trying to see if these like continue faintly. This one may be this up here, it's possible. All right, so some possible linear ravines there. The ravine may not be the 100% correct technical term, but you get the idea. And what else? So, I mean, this whole area may be worked over, sheared flat, something like that. Um, what am I talking about? Straight parallel streaks, these large scale parallel streaks. Possibly new, so 1994, uh, I don't know if we can see it, 2002, might be new, might be new in 2002, so I'll skip that parallel stuff. Mm. Hard to say whether it's just like emerging in 2002 or whether it's like newly created in 2002, these parallel lines. So it kind of looks like they're there in 94 over here. See some parallel stuff there. Possible overgrown old grid even. All right, well, whatever. And faint linear thing here, crack or path, potentially. All right, place marks. Mm, I'm, I'm saying I see something like a round, rounded end of the sweep and then like one edge of it and the other edge. I don't know about that, it's possible. I guess. And there's one more area along here that's had some good examples. Maybe a couple areas. So some more linear ravines here. I was actually intending to cover this area in uh, artificially sculpted coastlines, but uh, I guess I'm covering it now. Um, so some of these ravines like this one. Mm, this one maybe not as straight as some of the other ones. 
I would say. This is pretty straight from here to here. And then maybe continuing up here. Okay, let's skip along. We got over here. So here's another one of those areas with a sheared, sheared flat look to it, or across the, crossing the headland over here. Possibly. And natural, artificial, I don't know, plenty of lines and stuff. More of the same, basically modern plus older stuff. Same old story, possibly sheared flat landscape. You know the drill. Um, yeah, trying to go a little bit faster here. This video is kind of getting long. Linear bit. Lots of long paths. Okay, got it. Okay, um, now let me go back over this way. Linear gap, looks fairly crisp in 7 2010 photo. So let's check this out. So I'm referring to this linear feature here. Possible, it could be natural, but might be artificial of some kind. Yeah, like see it kind of clearly there. Something sculpting the coastline, maybe, maybe. Okay, um, then the whole landscape again. The same, same deal as like San Andreas Fault area and a lot of the places we've been looking just Questionable patterns and stuff. Lines. Continues, continues. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> so maybe some kind of tool mark or something. Skip that for now. Circle formations. Seven two thousand ten photo. So these guys, that may even just be vegetation. Maybe, uh, maybe skip that. All right. Not particularly relevant, although maybe strange patterns or whatever. Okie dokie. Great linear path underwater, 2007 photo. So yeah, I guess this would be more artificially sculpted coastlines, but see this possible linear path here. Could be a natural feature or it could be some type of strange sculpting maneuver awesome and then working my way back over here just one more area i wanted to show all right so i had a still image of this spot i think and these linear ravines got a lot of lines here some of them you may not be able to make out but um like this hopefully you can see this here so again, the, the linear ravines aspect, you can kind of see some faint parallel ones up here, not looking like it's modern landscaping of any kind, and then possible other lines up here. Mm. It's, a, it's a maybe, but you can kind of see some of it's some looking like Faint indications of something. 
kind of stark there and well defined. Here you see something there maybe. Yeah. Pretty clear there. Like parallel lines here. So something, here's a pretty clear one like right there. A couple of them this way. Um, maybe up here. All right, so I don't know if I need to show you every single little line, but you kind of get the case some potential tick marky lines and stuff. Maybe one right here, if you see that. Uh, even continuing across here, if you see that, like there, and you see it continue there a little bit, and kind of there. Hopefully that's evident. Kind of see it there. There-ish, still there, kind of. Alrighty, well, possible circumstantial evidence that stuff's being terraformed. So, there you go. Okay, so let's finish up with Chile, I believe. Yeah, so similar stuff in Chile. Um, stripes, this one looking more natural, but... Uh, let me see, what time is it? Um, you know, this, art, this video is already pretty long. I think I'm going to leave it here and uh, pick up with this chilly area in the next video. So I can go over these streaks and uh, possible sheared flat linear things um, in a little more depth and not strain your attention span too much. So, uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Later.